I'm, I'm, it's honestly got to the stage now, mate, where I know that the, the, they chant no justice, no peace. But it's got to the stage now where I would be quite happy to have an amnesty and just go, you know what? Let's let's not. and But let's just, from this point forward, actually have these set of rules that we go by. And we're not going to historically go back after everybody because we'll start cutting all of your heads off like French Revolution. It's got to the stage now where I'm willing to even consider just having that as an amnesty to go, OK, yeah, it all went on. It was terrible, but we're not going to do that going forward. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have that sort of South Africa moment almost. It's not going to happen, Gordon. I totally understand that people who are going, yeah, we've got to prosecute these people. No justice, no peace. It's just, I just want the peace. Yeah, it's not going to happen, Gordon. It's going to get worse. Take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. It's going to get crazy and crazy and crazy. Well, and here's why. That way, it? Yeah, and here, here's why. I've been thinking about this, and I had a conversation with Michael Leahy, the deputy leader of the Irish Freedom Party, a sovereignist party in Ireland. Um, and it's something that the left do not understand. The left wing don't get it. And I don't think you get it. I don't think Jeremy Corbyn gets it. I don't think, uh, you know, I didn't get it when I was immersed in those politics, right? It was only when I began, moved over and began to understand how Bitcoin, gold and silver are money and fiat currency isn't. And if I can spell it out for you, because that would help, help me crystallize my arguments, right? So first off, uh, consider, right, that you and I, Here's a scenario where you and I are, our relationship has integrity. I mean, it does, right? We don't lie to each other. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we don't see or speak to each other that often, right? But but also your relationship with your wife or my relationship with my wife has integrity. You know, there, there's no lies. There's no fraud. There's, you know, when there are disagreements, they're resolved peacefully, equitably, all of that, right? And then, then that relationship is stable. And the communication is language, is words. But what words are, now if there's anything you don't understand, right, you can poke holes in what I'm saying. What words are, are derivatives of reality. So when I say laptop, the word laptop is a representation of the actual real thing. It's a derivative. It's not the real thing. So when okay. I say to you, I'm, I will meet you at 9 p.m. tomorrow night, that's a representation of what I say will happen at a certain point in time and space. It's not the actual event. It's right. a derivative. It's a representation. Okay. Yeah. Now, if in our, and what, that's what forges our relationship, our personal relationship, our working relationship. That's how they all work on, on, through that communication, through that medium where we're exchanging derivatives of reality. Now, if in my family and in your family, the derivatives of reality that are exchanged are accurate, honest, integrous, like they represent actual reality. I turn up at nine o'clock tomorrow night to see you, to meet with you. I'm not just saying it, right? Yeah. If, if I am just saying it, well, at some point you, you're going to start doubting my word. Because there's going to be so, so then when the lies and the fakery and the fraud creeps in, then relationships fall apart, families fall apart, societies fall apart. If the words that we use, the derivatives of reality, war. sorry, they start going to war. They start, yeah, because it because at a larger and larger level, because people start, no, 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 Gordon, Gordon, no, no, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it, but the but the but my car broke down, or I had an emergency at work. So I have to make up lies to cover up. I have to make more inaccurate derivatives of reality in order to cover up for the original I know. inaccurate. I know, Rich, you, Rich, you're absolutely right. You are yeah. absolutely right. And oh, the only oh. reason why, the only reason why I'm even considering to just the amnesty is because I see the videos and I just want it to stop. Yeah, but it's not going to happen. 
It's not going to happen. Yeah, I know, I know, and I understand. I under, I do. Just to jump in, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I do understand. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I spent the whole of last week saying to people, if you don't know what the truth is, you are going to make a wrong decision. It's impossible for you to make the right decision. You will be less reliable for than a broken clock, because even that's right twice a day. If you don't know what the truth is, you making the right decision. It it would be a miracle. Yeah. So okay. how can you even even deal with that reality in a democracy? You can't. You need to know what the truth is first and foremost. So I know exactly what you mean. It's just, mate, I can't bear seeing another video of a real headless baby. Oh no, I got it. Well, no, we'll come to that. We're we're in the state of collapse. Here's why. Yeah. I'm going to transfer that metaphor to money and to currency. All right. money is is tokenized energy. I make a pair of shoes, really, really great shoes. I'm an ex extremely experienced cobbler. Been doing it for 40 years. My shoes are worth an ounce of gold, an ounce of gold. And mm -hmm. what what you you give me an ounce of gold for these shoes, right? What you're paying for is all my skills, my knowledge, my labor, the energy that's gone in. And yeah. an ounce of gold is a derivative of actual energy. Yeah. The energy that it took to mine that gold to fashion it into a, I don't know, a Krugerrand or a Britannia. Beautiful coin, by the way, the Britannia. If you can get, get hold of one, right? <laughs> now, same with silver, same with Bitcoin. They're all fraud-proof, tokenized representations of energy. I totally get it. Yeah. I get that. So, that, so then it keeps the economic relations honest. Yeah. It's integrity, right? But then what happens with fiat currency, the pound, the dollar, the euro, is it's a tokenized, <laughs> that's right. It's a, it's a lie. It doesn't, it's not a derivative. Yeah. It's not a real derivative of energy. Yeah. It's a it's derivative, derivative of, it, it's, a, it's actually a, deliver, a, de, a derivative of slave labor of all the people in the country for the next 40 years that they've just borrowed to print. Well, it's worth it's right? worse. Yeah, yeah, it, it's worse. It's a lie because it, yeah. doesn't, it pretends to represent energy and it doesn't represent energy. And because of the Cantillion effect, those that are nearest the source, the spigot, the banksters, they can press the button, they get more. So then what you have is a, an economy that's built on a foundation of lies and fraud. And that leads to conflict and cover ups and corruptions until the whole system collapses and that, heard, that state of collapse i've heard people argue that bitcoin the amount of energy it takes to mine one bitcoin is blah 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 blah. and i remember just laughing at the premise of their argument because it's like do you know what it takes to keep the dollar afloat yeah for a start you're going to need a thousand military bases around the world imagine <laughs> the energy that goes into that just for a start yeah. All right. That's without the sanctions and all the stuff that goes with it. And this is just I mean, what's the debt now? Is anybody counting still in America? Or did, I you know, know, 30, I don't know, 39 trillion dollars or something. Yeah. And they, they add a trillion every hundred. That's not the total debt. Now. That's not the total debt. The debt in terms of the derivatives market and the bonds is hundreds of trillions of dollars. And also, they've distorted the market around the world with their hegemony because it's my, it's it's much easier to, uh, you know, make. I don't know, farmers in India uh, pay through the nose or get, get very little for their rice rather than inflation in America to go up another couple of percentage points. So that's the manipulate. When you are the world's reserve currency and you've got a printing press, the tools at your disposal are vast, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's funny because the mainstream media keep talking about, well, occasionally talk about how harmful Bitcoin is for the environment. But nothing about how harmful war is for the environment. Farming, by the way, is very bad for the environment. No, nothing about, ne never mind the war, the infrastructure of banking, how much electricity it uses, how the, the, so the physical buildings, That's the so boom bus cycles. I, I'll Greta Thunberg, she's never mentioned the, 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 she, the US war machine and being yeah. the number one polluter on the planet at all. I think she might need to go back to school. If she hasn't quite figured that out yet, what do you? Or, or maybe that's not profitable for her. Not profitable. And she has nine cars. You know that. 
Yeah, you told me that last time. That's a that's a nine, nine cars. Yeah. You know how many I've got, mate? Twenty-seven. None. Twenty-seven I've Ferraris. No cars at all. Not even yeah. one Lambo. Yeah. Not even not a Ferrari like you or anything, mate. No. <laughs> I have a twenty-year-old bicycle. I, when I had a car, I used to drive to the shops. Literally, it would take me longer to drive to the chart shops than actually walk through the estate and go to my local shop. That's how lazy it makes you. And you're winning it on dino juice. This is what all the wars are being fought over, that thing that that car's running on. That's what the wars are being fought over yeah. for a start. And also, look at the metals that are going into that car that we're digging out the ground. You really are, oh, there's a genocide in the Congo. Why? Because they've got a load of lithium and what have you. That's why. And that... That thing is going to last, what, 10, 20 years? And where's it going to go? It's going to go in a scrapyard. It's going to basically, you know. You yep. don't get on a bike and ride. You, it's like, especially, why do you need a car if you work two miles away from where you live? Yeah, but don't worry. They're going to, we're going to be contained in 15-minute cities. But so. cow farts, they're the problem. <laughs> OK, look, I want to go. I want to I want to find out what's happening with Julian Assange, because I know that's something that's very close and dear to your heart and you're actively involved in it. And it's a it was a really important issue.